Hello class, let's talk about your next project. For your next project, we are going to be doing a grid portrait drawing. If you remember from a few projects back, we did a grid drawing. If you need some more detailed help on to how to create a grid, then go ahead and watch that last video on the grid drawing. But just keep in mind that you are just doing an inch box. Remember that your inch starts at your first tick mark, not at the edge of your ruler. You're just going to line it up and do tick marks at every inch all around the edges and then you will line them up. Once you are done creating this grid, I want you to label it. You can either label it A, B, C, D, F, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or you can do it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Either way, I'm totally fine with. Once you have this completely um, done, your grid is there, it's labeled all the things, then move on with a blank sheet of paper. When you are doing the blank sheet of paper, I want you to remember to do your grid lines really, 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 really light. Almost as light as you can't even see them anymore because you are going to want to erase these later. Okay? There's nothing worse than having a really beautiful drawing and the grid is too dark to erase. So, a few ways that you can transfer over your grid. The cheat, easy way is just to line up your paper and do the tick marks all around. Or you can always go in again and do the inch by inch by inch. Okay, Remember that you are starting your grid on the actual picture. This picture is very close up. Yours can be a little bit farther away if you would like. I have attached some references for you guys, but you can choose any portrait that you want to do. It can be a portrait of you. It can be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a celebrity. Okay, Any portrait that you want to do. I only ask you that it is just a straight on front view. You want it kind of close, does not have to be this close. Look at their references to see kind of what I'm talking about. And those are some really good examples. You're welcome to use those or find your own reference. For this project, we are going to be working on this for a very long time. I want you guys to really slow down and take your time on this, okay? I'm going to give you until November 19th. So that is about a week and a half and you should have your whole grid done and I want it to be in full value. When I say full value, it means that you should have your highlight, your midtone, your core shadow, all of these really good value on it and you're doing your drawing full blown. Last week we talked all about how to draw portraits, the individual features like the eyes, nose, and mouth, and then also the facial proportions. I want you to take that knowledge and transfer over to your grid drawings. So do not forget to do um, the full value and I really want you to spend about 30 minutes a day on this. Okay, spend about 30 minutes a day, really take your time on this. I really want to have some really high quality work and really, really put all your effort into it. Remember that when you are um, looking at a grid that you are just drawing each individual box, okay? Break it down, each individual box. It can seem very overwhelming when it is a full picture, but once you break it down, it becomes a lot easier. And now that you guys have the knowledge of how to draw the eyes, nose, and the mouth, you should be well equipped to do the project. All right, I cannot wait to see what you guys create. Remember that you guys have a full week and a half to do this project. So I expect you to have a very high quality project in full value. And don't forget to do your grid lines very, very light. Draw it light before you get it right. Thanks, guys.